everybody and welcome to my much awaited bedroom tour. I'm also going to be giving you a bit of a dressing room tour as well. But before we get into that, I thought I would let you know that the last couple of weeks my bedroom has had no dressing tables. I actually thrifted some and recently I've actually done them up. So before we get into the bedroom tour, I thought I would show you what I've been up to. Currently at my parents, um, at their kind of like workshop, work shed kind of thing, um, where these two bedside tables have been sitting in the shed since spring. It's now autumn, so I've had a whole summer of me being like, I need to get these bedside tables done. Finally, the time is here. It's time to get round to renovating them. Um, this is the before, if you couldn't tell already. I got them secondhand, um, really cheap, so and they might even be third hand, you never know with these things. Um, but you can tell they're pretty old, they need some love. There's some areas here like this bit needs gluing back on. Um, we've got some missing like knobs, so I'm going to take those off actually because I'm going to do some sanding first. I might, because there are some missing ones, just buy some new ones, which is kind of sad because they are quite pretty. But um, do you know what these give me the same sort of feeling as? I feel like they would they would have in like a past life belonged to a princess or belonged to someone like in Paris. I don't know, that's just what it makes me feel like. Also, I know these probably won't be everyone's cup of tea. I feel like people will either, it'll be like, like a bit Marmite, people either look at them and be like, oh my gosh, I see your vision, I absolutely love it. Or they'll be like, Esme, why have you bought this crusty old secondhand furniture? Um, but anyway, we're all about saving money and being eco-friendly on the channel. So I'm gonna take these knobs off now and hopefully with a bit of a sand, a bit of a scrub with some water, these are gonna be looking a lot better. So we have a bit of a problem. The workbench is currently in use, so I'm gonna make my own little DIY version that I can use outside for the sanding, which when you think about it, it's probably a little bit better because when I'm outside, I'm not breathing in all the dust. So let's see if this works. One plank, two plank, and then now I need to make sure that they're actually in the middle so it works. They're both not the same length, but I think that's gonna do. All right, this actually isn't as heavy as I thought. Ooh. There we go. It's on. I'm gonna do one at a time, just in case this isn't as strong as I think it is. The sanding is now complete and now it's time to get into all of these little nooks and crannies on the roses here. And I'm actually going to be using some um, dish soap with a toothbrush. Oh, oh no, I spilled those on the floor. Very clumsy. But anyway, I'm just going to try and be as gentle as possible because I don't want to destroy any of the flowers on here. I think actually it's the little ribbon over here that's a little bit on the fragile side, but I think this is going to make the world of difference. Alrighty, we have now sanded it, we've they've now been washed. One thing I do have to think about though, all these little nooks and crannies are going to be a bit of a pain when it comes to dusting later on down the line, but they are so pretty, I think it's worth it. Also, once I've sprayed them, there are some bits where the paint's just worn off so it looks like it's dirty, when actually that's just the brown of the stuff underneath. But anyway, I need to think about spraying these next because painting with a paintbrush I feel like is not going to be the one. I also need to pick what colour. I think I might just go for the plain white, like that is boring, but it's got the prettiness. Now on the top of this particular bedside table, there are some holes, there are some gouges. I don't know, I don't know what the previous owners were doing, but on the top of here, the other one's completely fine. It's just this side. Uh, anyway, this one has quite a lot of like holes and cracks and things. So I've got some wood filler here and I'm just going to very gently fill in these bits here. Oh yeah. Same chest of drawers. Again, don't know what the previous owners were doing, but this one got way more abuse. Um, you can see here that the moulding on the ribbon is just sticking out a little bit. So I'm going to be using some super glue and then I'm just going to like tape it over the top. So hopefully that fixes the problem. All right, so I'm going to be back in half an hour once that has dried, that has dried. I've given it a sand and then it will be spraying time, which I feel like is going to be the most satisfying part. 
We finally got to the stage in the cottage renovation series where I'm not using a screwdriver. I'm finally using a proper paint stirrer, but uh, I'm gonna have to make sure this is right at the bottom because I am notorious in my family for being the messy clumsy person and I don't wanna get paint all over me. So let's give it a go. I have now finished spraying. I mean, I probably do need to do another coat, but I don't want it to look too perfect because it is secondhand, it is a little bit older. Um, I feel like you could just like buy something perfectly brand new. Like I like that it's got a little bit of kind of shabby chic going on. I've just kind of sanded it so it's not as lumpy and an extra paint kind of coat. So it doesn't look as kind of dirty and brown. Like it looks so clean. Um, I've ordered some new like little knobs to go on them or handles. So they are, are arriving tomorrow. So fingers crossed, tomorrow, these should be ready to go in my bedroom. Here they are, they're finished, coming up the stairs. Oh, okay, please don't fall over, Esme. There we go. Oh, could have died then. Ah! So here is the finished result, of course. Still need to put the um, handles on. However, I was super sneaky. When I was online shopping for some handles, I have managed to find the exact same ones. So I don't know if somebody had done these up before um, and like put these ones on, but there we go, I found the same ones because I was looking online and I couldn't find any that I liked more than the ones that they already came with. Obviously there were a few missing, a few broken, so I'm really happy with that. So anyway, I'm gonna pop these on, then it's time to put them in place and organize my drawers. So I thought I would show you my current dressing table setup because it looks so ugly right now. The only cute thing that I have here is my lamp. I have a glass of water that I haven't put in the dishwasher yet, so that needs to go. I have my phone, I have a book. Um, I always feel like, I always feel scared of showing my books online because a lot of the time I haven't read them before. So if they're dodgy, I apologize. I haven't read that one yet, but a lot of people online recommended it. Um, I have some hair ties because I like to have my hair like in a side ponytail or little bunchies when I'm asleep. I have some lip balm. This is a man's one for some reason. I don't know why. It was just the one I could find. I feel like you can never find lip balm. Um, I also have, this looks really dodgy. If you're wondering what this is, it's actually a pen for your nails, like a nail oil pen, um, because I get really dry cuticles. So before I go to bed, I try and basically, if I, um, what's it called, have something by my bed, I'm more likely to do it. If not, I just too lazy to get out of bed. Oh, I thought I would show you my rabbit. This is my childhood rabbit that I've literally had since I was a baby. If you couldn't tell, she's um, got some stuffing distribution issues. <laughs> she's a little bit, um, empty at the top. Um, it's very well loved and well worn. I actually found um, her when I was like, unpacking my stuff the other day. I was doing a bit of a tidy up. So um, yeah, there we go. She's there. I've got um, little my little jelly cat um, cuddly toy as well. I got my remotes, which all of this stuff would normally be in like a chest of drawers, like bedside table, like in the drawer. So you can't see it you know, hanging about. But at the moment, it looks really messy. Um, this also looks a bit suspect. I have some moisturizer because I am a very dry person. Like I just have, oh, this is not sounding better. I just get really dry legs, like dry hands, like in the winter, like I, I am a dry skin person. So again, if it's by my bed and also because it's a pump, I'm more likely to remember to put it on. I feel like, also I have this one which just smells really nice. This is a Joe Malone one. And this is what I'll put on like if I'm going out and I want to like smell nice. Like some, this is so scented, you could probably put this on like almost as perfume, but also has that moisturization. I have a little Jo Malone candle as well. I haven't actually lit yet. Oh, it's a bit dusty as well. Need to do some cleaning. I have a box tissues, self-explanatory. Um, I have a fake plant, just because I feel like a real plant by my bed feels a bit weird. Like some plants I feel like you shouldn't have in your bedroom in case you breathe in like their gases and stuff. I don't know if that's a thing or if it's like a myth, but I have a fake plant. The rest of my plants are real. I'm a real plant kind of gal. And then there we go. I've almost pretty much emptied my, um, oh gosh, you can tell I, I this is my, I'm very sorry about how, how dirty my table is. Normally I'm a very clean person, but I feel like it's just had so much stuff on it. All right, I'm ready to move this table out of the way. You are done, you are gone. Beep, 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 
beep, beep, beep, beep, ah! beep, 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 beep. Alrighty, this is what it's looking like at the moment. I feel like I've done lots of toing and throwing of either side, trying to decide where it looks best, but I think in the centre is good. I could move my bed over, but I quite like that there's a bit of space here for me to walk into my dressing room and everything, but yeah, it's looking good. Oh wait, where are the... Oh, it's on. One thing that I know will really annoy some people is that I feel like where the screws are, it's not, they're not quite straight. But you know what? No, my house isn't that straight either. You know, it's a bit of character. It's a little bit different. One of a kind. There we go. These are going on a lot easier than I was expecting. Oh my goodness. It is looking so good. I've been, I feel like it just makes everywhere seem so much more even. Having the two lamps on either side, the two bedside tables. It's looking so good. If it looks more like a hotel room, if I do say so myself, even though I feel like a hotel room probably wouldn't have this sort of autumnal bedspread on, but I love it. Also, I have my little cow painting as well, of cows by the river, and I just thought that was so cute. Also, almost all of my artwork is either stuff that I've like thrifted or also stuff that I found like on Etsy for really affordable prices that is like one of a kind. Like this is a proper like oil painting. I feel bad that I just touched it then, but like original, all that kind of stuff, which is very cool. So we recommend having a little look on there if you're looking for artwork. Um, but anyway, yeah, I thought I would do a little bit of a room tour and show you guys around what it's finally looking like. I was going to say now it's done. I feel like whenever you're doing any sort of renovation project, that kind of thing, things are never done because there's always things that you want to do, things you want to add. But I thought I would show you how it's looking like now. Alrighty, before we enter in, the first thing that I talk about that's very different are the doors. I will actually leave a link at the end of this video to the playlist of the cottage renovation series. So if you're new to the channel and want to see the progress that we've made and all the other videos of what I've been up to with the cottage, you can go and watch that. But if you have been watching the series, no spoilers, don't worry, it's fine. There's, there's been a lot. <laughs> but anyway, um, you will know that this door had frosted glass, which was just a bit nasty. It was giving grandma. It wasn't sort of what I was going for. So we put like new wood in and hopefully it kind of blends quite well, you could say. With the door, we've um, repainted the handles. But anyway, come in, come in. Alrighty, if you walk on in, I'm just going to shut this door so you cannot see the chaos that is behind. This is the tidy room. Let's look at this one. Um, so anyway, we have my chest of drawers on a TV. If it doesn't, if anything actually in this room doesn't look quite straight, that's because the house is a little bit wonky. It's got character, it's fine. Um, I have some dried flowers in an old vase. Got my little jelly cat, chest of drawers, as I said before. Um, this actually is a washing basket and it's very useful because it has three different sections so you can, you know, section out your laundry. Um, I feel like this wall is a little bit plain. I feel like maybe some wallpaper or something on this would really give it a bit more pizzazz or maybe some pictures. Let me know what you think or maybe just like a feature colour, like maybe like a baby pink would be cute but let me know. I just feel like this wall is a bit boring. I know normally I face it because that's the way I face it in bed and watch TV and everything but I don't know, I feel like it just needs a little something. Um, also, I had to get my electrician to put a plug here because before I had to use an, an extension lead for my TV, which went like basically across the room. So thank you very much to my electrician. Um, a little bit boring. I actually have a little cupboard here, which I painted. Um, and that actually goes to my boiler. So if you ever wonder where my boiler is, it does mean that this room is quite warm, which is good. And then if we come on over, of course, we have the bed that you guys have already seen. And also, I've just realised once I've stood back, this bedside table looks very wonky. I promise you that this is all straight. It's just the floors that are wonky making this wonky. Um, anyway, it looks so much better with the lamp and everything. I also have this really old, like, seagrass basket that I've literally had since I was a baby. Um, I think actually it maybe even was my parents before it was mine. Um, it's got a little bit of a hole in. It's a little bit worse for wear. This, I just have, like, all my hoodies and, like, snuggly bedtime pajamas that kind of stuff dressing gowns um so i feel like i need to get like a new like little storage solution for that so let me know if you have any ideas maybe like a little storage trunk just because i feel like if i had a chest of drawers there i wouldn't be able to open the drawers because of the bedside table so maybe like a little wooden box kind of thing anyway moving on over Whee! 
<laughs> okay, then if we come on through, so before this was actually a completely separate, two separate rooms. So we actually put these, this sort of lovely oak framing in and made a hole in the wall because I felt like even though it's like a nice big room for a bedroom and you know a double bed can fit in there very nicely I wanted it to be a little bit more open plan also um, it's a north facing room there's only one window and it can get quite dark ignore the curtains they're temporary curtains for now so my neighbours don't see me naked but anyway um, <laughs> this is the dressing room you will probably know that these wardrobes I actually redid so we painted them we made it so they're a little bit more raised because before they were dragged along the carpet a little bit new carpet as well because before the house had carpet moths so I had to live downstairs for a while because I couldn't bring any soft furnishings up here because I didn't want them to get contaminated by the infestation of moths anyway so this is my wardrobe I feel like it's actually not too bad on the way of like tidiness so all of my like horsey clothes I don't actually keep here I keep them in my old bedroom slash the office slash the loft um so actually so here I have basically my non-horsey clothes if you want to know what my my wardrobe's like so I have like t-shirts shirts and then like long sleeve tops I'm definitely like a long sleeve top kind of gal I love a good long sleeve top then here I have some jumpers I have some jeans trousers that kind of thing um so yeah and also i'm really bad whenever i have a spare hanger i just like kind of chuck it under here so i need to probably find a better place to put spare hangers and then in this one here it's a little bit more on the messy side that's because um basically i have all my dresses that hang down and the other day that pole fell down in the middle of the night scared me the living daylights out of me and then i have like um blazers and jackets and that kind of thing down here and like some ju more jumpers and stuff but it just looks a bit messy i need to reorganize that but at least the pole is back up it's not falling down this wardrobe is probably my favorite and that's because it's got all of my like handbags and shoes in or well, not all of them you'll see in a sec i've got another shoe collection some of these shoes i probably need to sell because i feel like i've kind of outgrown them as in like i've gone from a teenager to in my 20s and i feel like there are just some things i feel like i wouldn't really wear as much now or get as much use out of. Um, down here I have my Fairfax and Favour handbag collection. As you can see, Fairfax and Favour are very gener generous sponsors. There is quite a lot down here. I have some like heels up here and then some like extra like shoes and bits down there. And then this cupboard here, I'm not even going to show you. This is the mess cupboard. I feel like everyone needs a mess cupboard in their life. If something doesn't have a place yet, that's where it goes. If I lose something and I need to find it, I'll probably look in here so there we go not looking at that today a lot of my furniture I did get secondhand however the one thing I really struggled to find was a dressing table so this one I did splash out a little bit more and buy brand new and this is from the Cotswold company but um, something I did do to make it seem a little bit more oldy woldy to go with the 100 year old cottage is that I bought a secondhand vintage mirror and I feel like this mirror is just so pretty I know it's not going to be to everyone's taste but when I look at it it just it makes me feel like I'm a princess like in the morning um, also I love this room because it goes out to my garden and I can see all the woods at the back of my house it's also south facing as well so it means that I get all the natural light in the morning the only thing I would say about this dressing table is that the drawers aren't very big like you can't fit a lot of stuff in so um, I also purchased a bedside table to put next to it and that's kind of like my makeup drawers that I have over here I also have an old trug that I thrifted, thrifted as well. I want to put like some dried flowers or something in here or just like little trinkets, I don't know, bits and bobs. But at the moment, it just kind of sits on there as decoration. I have my makeup brushes in an old little pot as well, which I feel like goes well too. Um, also thrifted this really old um, candlestick holder and then just have some obviously not thrifted <laughs> candles. I feel like buying candles secondhand is not really like a thing. I feel like people just use their candles like that kind of thing do you know what I mean um I have a plant I have some dried flowers I have a little pumpkin here um at the moment because I am filming this in October so it's a little bit more festive up here I also have this um jewelry box as well that you can stack so if I do get more jewelry I can buy more boxes to make it bigger but I've just got two little bits at the moment um, but yeah, this is pretty much my dressing table. Also, if I ever go live, this is normally where I'm doing it, with my makeup station, doing my makeup, that kind of thing. So I really should do more lives. Let me know if you'd like me to do some more, because the last one I really enjoyed. Something that I can't believe I haven't mentioned yet, but when I was sort of 
proper renovating doing up the cottage, not just, you know, decorating things and making it pretty. Um, these structural beams we actually had to put in. I can't remember if there wasn't one here, if it just wasn't in the right place. Somebody had moved the beams around to like probably fit a bed in or stuff like that. So um, one task I've had is to put some new beams in. So this is lovely oak. I think before there was some like softwood here. So um, we had to make basically make the house structurally sound so it wouldn't fall down. Again, with the other beam as well in the main bedroom. Um, also, that's given me the task of trying to fit things around the beams. Like I love the character because it's an old cottage, but it also does make things a little bit more on the tricky side when fitting furniture in. So I have, this is probably my favorite chest of drawers just because it has, it has little thistles on the handles and with the brass. And I just think it looks so pretty. Um, also, right in the corner, I made myself a little shoe rack and that has some of my Fairfax and Favour boots. I've got trainers, heels, that kind of thing. So um, it's starting to overflow as well. So I'm gonna have to think of another solution for all my boots, but that is them there at the moment. I've also added some little trinkets, things like that. I've got some more jewelry in here, which I should probably put my jewelry organizer. Got a candle, diffuser. I have this old kind of painting as well, which I just thought the colors were so pretty. I really like the frame. I think the frame was my favorite part, but um, this also like some chickens and a cow there, like love my animals. Um, I got some fake flowers as well in a little um, jug. Also got my perfume. This is like my one expensive like designer kind of perfume um, that I, I always buy my perfume when I travel for work, when I go through duty free because it's a bit cheaper. But um, if you want to know what I smell like, it is this one. Um, and then uh, we come round to my mirror. So this mirror is absolutely huge and I thought with my job I do a lot of outfit picks so I wanted to kind of go all out with my mirror I love how it looks kind of old with the detailing it's not like a boring mirror it's a little bit more out there um, I also have like a little hat here as well which is kind of like a kind of you know when your gal's dressed up for hall shows, that kind of thing, hat, which I'd quite like to hang on the back door here. Obviously, th this used to be two bedrooms, so this used to be the entrance, but it's not used as an entrance anymore, so I feel like I could probably decorate the door a little bit so it blends in more. But I feel like the way I've, you know, put the mirror and put this, it's actually like a little, um, a little bench, but if you lift it up, it's got loads of storage, so I can put like my winter coats and things like that in here. Um, I've also added some colourful cushions as well, just just to add a little bit more color in here because it is quite neutral and I am definitely more of like a colorful person. Although again, this is a dressing room. I didn't want it to be too colorful because when I'm styling on outfits, that kind of thing, I don't want the background or anything to clash or affect how colors look when I'm wearing them, if that makes sense. That's why I went for very neutral kind of um, the back doors there for my um, wardrobe. Also in this little box here, <laughs> I have all of my like styling tools for my hair. I feel like that's the one thing that just feels really messy when it's out and about. So that's all hidden in a little wicker basket. Obviously, I don't put my hair straighteners in a wicker basket that is very flammable when they are still hot. Don't worry, I'm not that silly. Um, also, this is probably one of my favorite paintings I have. Again, it's an oil painting. I feel like I prefer oil paintings to watercolors. It's an original and I just love the, like, the sort of sage green of the, th of the frame as well. I just think it's so pretty and also it ties in a bit with the cushions that I have here. I might change the cushions about. They're just here because I have them. And there we go. I feel like this room, um, obviously it needs a blind or some curtains. So I still need to sort that out. And also I feel like because it is quite plain, maybe like a colorful rug could be fun. So. If you have any rug ideas or suggestions, again, leave them in the comments, but there we go. I think that is pretty much my bedroom and dressing room tour complete. Again, there are still things I wanna add, still things I wanna change. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's looking pretty tidy at the moment. It's looking a little bit more put together. So I'm really happy with how it's looking like. So yeah, thank you so much everybody for watching today's video and seeing what I've been getting up to with the cottage renovation series. Again, if you've missed some episodes or wanna catch up on what I've been up to with the cottage, I'll leave the playlist as a link at the end of this video. But anyway, thank you so much everybody for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.